up and down the back. Take a few breaths in, a few breaths out, and then roll the shoulders forward. And then we're just going to drop the chin to the neck, roll down the spine, let the head hang heavy. Feel free to clasp the elbows and just sway a little bit side to side here. And then let's just take a big bend in the knees, let the arms drop down, place the left hand down, and we'll sweep the right arm up. Nice big twist. And switch sides, bend those knees, big twist, lengthen. And back center, take those hands behind the back, let's draw the arms up. You can even lift your gaze up. And then we're gonna re-straighten the legs and pull. Breathe in. Exhale, one more breath in, and then release the arms, bend the knees, roll up to stand. We're gonna step our feet out wide, and our toes are gonna be straight ahead here. We're gonna take our hands behind our back again, hinge from our hips, and look under those legs. So just draw those arms down, stretch here. And then when you're ready, go ahead and tuck a little bit further if you can. And then we'll place right hand down, left arm up, spiral and twist. Good, and switch that spiral twist. Good. Back center, walk your hands over towards one leg, get that leg a hug, and bend into your opposite knee. And then re-straighten, let's crawl to the other side. Hug that leg, bend into the knee. Good, and back center. Let's now turn our heels and toes out. So we're gonna kinda come into this turned out wide second position and roll up that spine nice and slowly. Arms reaching out to a big V in here. Exhale, pull the elbows back and reach out and pull back. Reach out, inhale, and again, let's exhale, pull back. Reach out, inhale, we have four, and out, and three, and out, here we have two, and out, last one. Good, now we're gonna hold it up, we're gonna push our arms down, lift up one heel, and we're just gonna pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one, switch sides, other heel pulls up for eight, seven, Six, five, keep breathing. Four, three, two on one. Both heels up. Let's pulse for eight. Seven, keep pushing those knees back. Six, five, here's four, three, two. Very good on one. Hold it down. Let's lower the heels and lift for four. Lower the heels, lift three. Very good. Lower, lift two. Lower, lift one. Very good. Lower the heels again. One arm reaches overhead, other arm across the belly, and then let's reach through center for one. And reach, keep holding those like they should feel burning a little bit here. And that's okay, that's good. And then other side. Reach, and through center. And reach, through center. Again, reach, through center. One more time, very good. And center, hold. Now flex your hand. We're gonna twist twice one way. Inhale, center, exhale, twice the other way. Inhale, center. So as you're taking these twists, keeping those hips very steady and just moving from the rib cage, and it can be kind of tough here. So just keep holding in, hanging in there. Keep that belly button pulled towards your spine. That's going to help you keep those hips steady and as the lower body steady. Let's do just one more each way. Last time, good and pause center. Now taking that left leg, we're going to sweep across to the right arm and down, and again sweep and down for one. And sweep, down for two, sweep, down for three, sweep, down for four, sweep, down for five, sweep, down for six, here seven, now on eight we're going to circle that leg, draw a nice big circle, other side, and sweep, keep that chest lifted even when you come down, keep that breath going, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, exhale, five, Good. keeping that breath going, six, good, here, seven, and last one, circle on eight, very nice job, okay, standing tall, we're going to stand to the back of the mat, I'm just scooting this back a little bit so people at home can see, so we're right back at the end of our mat here, and we're going to sweep the arms high, take a dive down, and then we're just going to walk our hands out, two, three, and four, finding a high plank position. We're gonna rock our heels forward and back like we're coming up into a releve for four, three, two, 
And then on one, we're gonna push back into that downward dog. Walk our hands in, two, three, and four. Roll up to stand. And then we're gonna roll the way up here for one. And two, and three, and four. Lower the heels, dive down again, and walk out. Two, three, and four. Nice high plank. Heels press forward, one, and two, and three, and four. Very good. Push back through that downward dog. Walk in, two, three, and four. Roll up. Rise up to the toes three times here. One, two, and three. Take a dive down. Walk out, two, three, and four. This time you're gonna raise your right leg up and you're gonna pulse it up for one, two, three times. Round the knee to the nose and extend back for one. Knee to nose, extend back two. Knee to nose, extend back three. Place that foot down. Then left leg lifts. We pulse it up one, two, three times. Then round knee to nose, push back for one. Knee to nose, push back two. Knee to nose, push back three. Lower that foot. Very good. Walk in, two, three, and four. Roll up to standing. Raise the arms up. Circle the wrists. Two, three. Reverse. One, two, three times. Bring the hands behind your back. Open the chest. Hinge forward and stretch through the shoulders and chest. And then we're going to release the hands and walk again out. Two, three, and four. Hold your plank and drop your right knee down. We're going to open up to the side here and lift up that top arm and leg, pulsing for one, two, three, and four. Flex and place the foot down, draw elbow to knee in, reach out one, two, three, and four. Come back through center plank, drop your left knee. We're gonna open up to the side, we're gonna pulse that leg up for one, two, three, and four. Flex that foot, place it down, Take that bottom knee in towards your top elbow and reach it out one, and two, and three, and four. Good, come back to center plank. Lower down to your belly, and lift through the chest. Beautiful job, just take a moment, stretch here, inhale. Exhale, lower the chest down, inhale. Exhale, roll up, stretch through those abdominals. Let's do three more like this, roll down, inhale. Exhale, pressing up. Good, two more times, roll down, inhale, exhale up, very good, one more time, roll down, inhale, exhale up, and then round through the spine, hips to heels, child's pose. So once you find that child's pose, just go ahead and take a couple moments here, breathe, and we're going to add a little bit more on to this. So, you guys stay there for just a sec, I just didn't quite set this up. Very good for people at home, so I'm just making sure they can see everything here. And take that child's pose for a couple more moments. Okay, so as we're in child's pose now, we're gonna lift up, engage through the core, open the chest, lift the sternum. Heels and hips stay connected. Then we're gonna round, contract over the leg, come up into a big cat strap, release cap, flat back, extend right leg, left arm, and we're gonna pump up for four, three, two, and then on one, we're gonna round elbow to knee in, reach out one, in, reach out two, in, reach out three, and in, reach out four, hold. Good, place that left hand down, flex your right foot, and we're gonna go ahead, tuck those toes under, draw the left knee in, and stretch it back. Walk your hands up, two, three, and four, finding a balance here, take the left arm back, then right arm and come all the way to stand. Good, nice job. Take a dive down. Roll through the spine again. Walk out, two, three, four. Plank position, bend your elbows, curl your chest up. Stretch those abdominals. Roll down again, inhale. Exhale up for one. Down, inhale. Exhale up for two. Down, inhale. Exhale up for three. We have just one more. Rounding up through that chest, lift that heart, and then press the hips up and back, round through the spine, hips to heel. Breathe in, exhale, lift through the chest, open up, lift that heart up towards the sky there. Good, contract, round through the spine, come up to your hands and knees, cat stretch, release for cow. This time extending, left leg back, right arm, and we're gonna pump up from one, two, three, and four, round elbow to knee in, 
out one. In, out two. In, out three. In, out four. Good, bring that right hand down. Flex the left foot, tuck the toes. Draw the right knee in, and then stretch it back. Walk in, two, three, and four up towards that foot. And then slowly come up to balance and stand. Good. Inhale here, one more time, exhale, dive down. Hands behind the back, let's take a big stretch. Bend the knees, lift your gaze forward, and we're gonna sweep the arms up. This is more like a chair pose from yoga. But we're gonna pull the elbows back, lift the heels, and lower the heels, reach the arms up. And we're gonna do that again. Pull the elbows back, lift the heels, lower the heels, reach up, two more, pull back. Lower the heels, lift one more time, pull back. Good, and lift up. Now take that chest back over the thighs, hands behind the back, pull. Release the arms and walk out, two, three, and four. Find a strong plank again. Great job here, guys. Feet are squeezing together. We're gonna roll to the side of the right foot and raise the left arm. If you need to drop the right knee, you can. You can try lifting the leg here for four, three, two, and one. Just a little parallel lift. Come back center. Go to the side of your left foot. Let's see if we can just do those little lifts here on that opposite side. We'll lift four, three, two. Very good. On one. Squeeze the feet together. Back to center plank. Lower the chest. Beautiful job. Come to your elbow. Keep the chest lifted. And now let's open our legs a little bit wider to a bit of a V position. So we're going to lift up one leg, bend through that knee, lift through the hip, reach the foot back, try to kind of touch the floor if you can, and then come back slowly. Try not to move the shoulders. We want to just move from that upper body. So now left leg lifts up and reach across. Back through center. And again, lift right leg, bend, reach across. Try to keep those elbows right under your shoulders and let's try to avoid twisting the upper body. So left leg lifts reach across. It's okay if the foot does not touch the ground. That's just kind of what you're aiming for. So we're waking up the lower back, the glutes and hamstrings. Very good, guys. One more. Lift, bend, three, back through center. Good job. So now, let's lift both sides up, bend the knees, and touch the toes together. Just begin to point the toes up as if you're going to touch those toes right up to the sky. For four, three, two, and on one. Hold up. Extend your arms out and squeeze your elbows in, okay? So you're going to go ahead, extend your legs and arms to a big half shape. Bend your knees and elbows, touch your feet together, squeeze your elbows in. So we're going to go out in for one. Keep those thighs lifted as high off the floor as you can. Two. Here's three. And four. Now extend your arms and legs behind you. You're going to pump your palms up and begin to beat your heels together. Very quickly here for ten. Nine. Eight, keep beating those heels together. Seven, six, good, five, four, three, two. Very good, guys. On one, clasp those hands together. Lift your chest a bit higher. Pull your heels in twice. Turn your head to one side. Relax, release the elbows. Let's lift up again. Pull the heels in twice. Turn your head the other way and relax. So let's lift again. Pull, pull. Turn the head, relax. Last time. Lift, pull, pull, turn the head to the left. Very good job. Hands under the shoulders now. Bend your knees and let's start to pull our abs up off the floor. Like if you could slip a piece of paper right under your belly button there. We're going to push up and slowly lower. Inhale, exhale, push up, slowly lower. Guys, we're going to do 10 here. We've already done about three. So when we get to five, I'm going to give you the option to pop up to your toes. So five, now for the next one, if you'd like to, you can tuck your toes and finish up in a full plank. If you want to stay on your knees, go for it. Five, here's four, we can do this. Keep breathing, three, good job. Two, good, good, last one here. One, let's go back to that downward dog. Walk your feet out and breathe. We've been doing lots of planks today, so if you need a child's pose here, that's totally fine. Do what you need to do for this next uh, stretch here. We're gonna take our right leg, cross it behind the left. And we're first just gonna raise it up one and slowly lower. Raise up two, slowly lower. Raise up three, slowly lower. Last one, four. Now, we're gonna lower the leg and then reach those right toes over towards the left. 
up, way high over to the right. And then we're gonna go to the right, up, way high behind us, down to the left. So we're just creating a circle up and around, and then right away we're reversing that circle. That can be more challenging than it seems like it should be sometimes. So don't worry if you're having a little trouble maintaining that balance, just move at your own pace. One more time, bring that leg up around, and then draw the knee forward. Bring it over to your right elbow, left elbow, right elbow. Send it back. So we're doing three taps. We usually do two. We're doing three today. So we're going right, left, right. Send the leg back. You have two more sets like this, guys. Should work. Right, left, right. Send the leg back. One more time. Right, left, right. Send the leg back. Hold. And then lunge that right foot all the way up to your feet. We're going to just take a quick high lunge position. Reach the arms up. Take a moment. Breathe in. Exhale, and then bring your hands around your front foot, and let's just slowly release the left knee and toes. And you can keep your hands down, you can place your hands up on your knee. You can even reach the arms up and back, if you wish. So whatever feels good for you. And when you're ready, right arm comes around, reach back. You can hold here, or you can pull the foot in if you like, if that feels good for you. Very good, just take a moment. Good, and then as we release, tuck the back toes, place the hands down again. We're gonna pick up the same knee, and all we're gonna do is pull it up towards the hands and release for a pigeon strap. So we're just going a little deeper into that hip. Feel free to come down and relax here for a moment. Catch your breath, give those wrists a little break, because we will come back, of course, to do the other side. So just allow those wrists a moment to relax. Let your body relax here as well for a moment. and then back into our downward dog and just walk those feet out. And then our left leg is gonna cross behind the right and we're gonna to begin to sweep that leg up and down. And again, sweep the leg up and down. Good, opening the right hamstring every time that left leg goes up. Good, one more time here guys, let's sweep the leg up, hold, beautiful job. And then close it down behind the right again, bring those left toes over to the right, up, out to the left and down. So we're doing a leg circle from a downward dog, which is kind of a different angle. You're gonna hit different parts of those glutes and hamstrings. Reverse the direction. Good, so make sure we're going both directions. On the other side, we went one direction, switch right away. If you went a few times the same way this time, just make sure to reverse, do the same amount the other way. Let's do one more circle up and around. And then as we come forward, we're gonna tap left elbow, right elbow, left elbow, and back, and again. Left, right, left, send the leg back. Two more times. Let's go left, right, left, send the leg back. One more time. Left, right, left, send the leg back, hold, and then lunge that left foot up. We're gonna sweep those arms high, high lunge position. Exhale, one more breath. Now bring those hands around that front foot. Let's release that back knee gently. Release the toes. Maybe bring your hands up to your knee if you like. Maybe bring your arms up or maybe lift the chest and arms. Good, and then when you're ready, bring your left arm around. Look back at that right foot. Try to keep that leg engaged behind you. And if you'd like to pull that foot in your hand, Good job, let's unwind. We're gonna place both hands around that front foot and just lift the knee and then relax that knee back down for that pigeon. Lift through the chest, inhale, and then exhale over the leg. Relaxing and breathing here.
All right, guys, we're gonna stay down for this one. We're gonna place our elbows on the floor. So if you've already um, kind of bent this position, you can just keep your elbows here. Otherwise, place your elbows down. We're gonna flex the back foot, tuck the toes under, lift the knees, begin to lift the hips, and step into our low plank. So we've been working on some low plank series. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna try for that full minute. If you've already been holding for a few seconds, let's do five more seconds, just holding five, four, three, two on one, let's tap and tap, opposite knee. So we're gonna do 10, nine, keep those hips steady, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's begin to rock our hips side to side. So we're about to finish that halfway point at the end of these rocks. Again, you can always take a break when you need to. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, four. Fourth set of 10 seconds. We're going forward and back for 10. Nine, feels forward and back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna place left hand, right hand coming to a high plank. Then left elbow, right elbow. Left hand, right hand. Left elbow, right elbow. Again, left, right, left, right. One more time, left, right. And then we're just gonna finish up right, left. Okay, here we go, switch right, left. Right hand, left hand. Right elbow, left elbow. Take your time with it. We're almost there, keep breathing. You are doing great here. Up, up, two more guys. Down, down. Up, up, one more time. Try to keep those hips in line with the shoulder. Up, up, good job. Either take a child's pose or downward dog. Breathe. Walk those feet out. All right, if you're in a downward dog, feel free to lower the knees and take a child's pose. Just stretch here and breathe. Just release that back. Very good. Let's walk our hands a bit to the left. With the left hand, give the right wrist a pull. And then walk your hands to the right. And with your right hand, give that left wrist a pull. Okay, come back up to the hands and knees. Arch that back. One more back stretch. Right arm high, let's spread the needle. Right shoulder side of the head to the mat. Feel free to extend the left leg if you like. Job, you guys. Let's come back either side. Right hand down, left arm up. Thread that needle, left shoulder side of the head to the mat. Push with the right hand. Maybe extend the right. Very good. Both knees down. Now reach both hands forward. Press that heart and chest down. And find that puppy pose. Great job here. Okay, guys.